Bitcoin boom beating gold and silver. Well, what does it mean? It means you better buy as much as you can right now. The train is moving and the dollar is quickly dying. When the dollar crashes and the big reset is coming, what counts is not the price, but how many Bitcoin or gold and silver do you own? Watch till the end to see why I think Bitcoin is going to reach a hundred thousand euros and dollars. So what's Bitcoin? Of course, Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency. It is it is mined by people to keep the transaction going, so we can keep the cost low, and it is easy transferable around the world. Nobody knows whose Bitcoin is who. Unless you have invested by a broker, then you have to show your ID, of course. The thing to search for is the stock to flow graph. This is a model to predict the Bitcoin price and it has been very accurately, I would say. So, if you look at the stock to flow graph, you see it is increasing and on pace with what is predicted. Well, right now on this time of recording it is around 33,000 usd but the stock to flow it is predicting 100,000 and it will stay at that level so will it follow it i don't know and the next healthy having time is in almost three years so don't wait for that maybe dip in before it banks are predicting it will skyrocket but remember bitcoin is what we made it to be without without it having that much publicity without banks backing it up bitcoin is nothing it is nothing but because we believe it to be it can be the future we can use in the future bitcoins instead of euro or maybe another currency because bitcoin is more of the gold of the currencies so would you trade your dollars for this bitcoin i would i won't put all my money in say if you're young, if you're very young, around 20, 20 to 30, I would invest a little bit more. You can take the risk, at least if you save for your time. But I believe you should put 10% in if you are young. If you're older, maybe dip your toes in 2, 3% around that. This isn't advice, do your own research. Think of what wish you were willing to take and search for Bitcoin. Look it up. But there's more news around Bitcoin. There are coming ETF, exchange traded funds around Bitcoin. So it will be become public to the general stocks market. And also there will be a crypto futures exchange and it's going to be public at a valuation of 2.1 billion the total cryptocurrency is around 1 trillion dollars worth and bitcoin is 70 percent of it so be aware bitcoin is the highest so maybe you can dip in your toes in other currency bitcoin is the most backed by the banks and the government and if you want to know if the US government also has some bitcoins, yeah, they do. The US government has around the US government has around 1 billion worth of bitcoins since they shut down Silk Road. Yeah, they do have it and they leave it. They know it's going to rise, at least I think. But maybe maybe not as since the money printer of Biden and Trump are going to skyrocket this is of course good for Bitcoin will we see a drop yes of course will we see a rise yes of course that is the future of Bitcoin if you believe in it you can dip your throws in it's like really a belief the community behind Bitcoin is the reason why Bitcoin has its validation but look at this Google Trends, the retail environment of Google Trends shows us that the retailers aren't up to their game. Well, in 2017, they were up to their game. But now, if we look at the Google Trends, we see only around 71% of the Google searches they did back in 2017. So there is still potential. Of course, there isn't a correlation around this. But I think it is very noticeable that this happens. So, what do I think? I think it will go to 100,000 for it drops, maybe not. But people do say it is a bubble, it isn't anymore. Since there are banks, institutions are into Bitcoin, it is backed. If it falls, they will buy more. They have the capital to keep Bitcoin at this price level. Be aware, there are a lot of scams around Bitcoin, so be aware of it. Look for your own broker and I use Coinbase, link down below to get some free Bitcoin. 
but do your research it can be very tricky for some scams so do your research and of course paypal is running the game in bitcoin it will keep bitcoin high since paypal is some big company with a lot of users it will generate a lot of traffic to bitcoin paypal has currently has 325 million active users and if they all can buy bitcoin of course some will dabble in of course with a small portion but even that can rise the volume of bitcoin and drive the price up i'm talking about the real hype here so be aware of course hype won't last but if bitcoin is something for the future it will last and if you believe in this despite the hype you will get some returns on your money if you believe in it so let's look at trade view and see why bitcoin has reached this potential you can see the volumes going up and up and up right until the point of 9 january 2021 and then it dropped significantly this drop was insane it dropped like 25 percent from its height this is insane but then it got some rebound around thirty thousand dollars but i'm late to the bitcoin and i got around 29 i was not panicking i knew it would drop of course that's the risk of investing in bitcoin it doesn't have any value we give it value and it has that value because insiders in institution banks buy bitcoin in large they don't know what to do with money money is gonna to print like money print is going bruh mean the money is printed is insane but the power in bitcoin is more than that the power in people is that it is decentralized now there is of course an argument against it because huge investments are being done in bitcoin a large portion is of course from the biggest hedge but there are a lot of investors in bitcoin so if you look at the stock to trade model you can see it going to a million dollars but wait that's it, it's too much that's it, like in four or five years right now we want to know where it is headed i think there will be a big recession i think we will see bitcoin sky rocketing because of the recession people they have it on saving accounts people invest in safe things the bitcoin is the risk word the risk is in bitcoin if you have it on the bank why won't you invest if you can miss it why won't you invest it so bitcoin isn't the only option of course they have other cryptocurrencies the bitcoin is something you should watch and have on your radar it's the first cryptocurrency so it has some fallacies it isn't that good in this fees of course if we're going to look at other currencies there are some better and worse things than bitcoin transaction if we look at nano for example nano has the transaction speed of 0.1 second and the cost the costs are zero and there are finite nanos and bitcoin bitcoin is being mined but as a steady pace so it won't go up with inflation there is a huge demand for it that is why it skyrocketed but i think we can see it heading back to maybe twenty thousand dollar for before it getting higher because if i have a look you can see it's only got around twenty thousand so so that's a good good indicator that will hold that value we can see a drop we can see the rise i don't know because i'm no fortune chatter this is insane and we will see bitcoin dropping falling and rising up again so if it drops make sure you know this is something to look for this is something to invest in and if you don't like bitcoin maybe consider gold gold is more reliable than bitcoin of course because we have been using it for decades bitcoin is something and if you want to know more about this currency and how it's used look it up you can read the white paper on bitcoin that literally explains what is bitcoin how it works and it has full transparency that's the thing i like about bitcoin we don't need banks anymore we use peer-to-peer -peer transactions for all these things so make sure you drop a like down below let me know what you think of bitcoin where it is headed and look at the links i put down below you get some free bitcoin if you subscribe to coinbase and for a buck zero you get a free stock let me know how it goes and i see you next time